with the prices of everything going up, and I'm not talking just about building materials and labor and that type of thing, as popular as Florida has gotten, what are you doing about, how hard is it for you to find affordable land to start building subdivisions in? Yeah, land, land is land is hard right now um, for for a lot of people. You know, the IMN conference was a few weeks ago in Miami, and there were a lot of the big hedge funds, institutions there saying they were getting into build to rent. They had tons of money. It was funny, though. They couldn't find any land. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're trying to go off of just basic resources. And, and then at the same time, they're also paying too much, and they can't make the numbers work. And it's also hard to find people to build. For you right now, um, what we have, Bill, is we have a 14-person team that does. We have an off-market system to identify tracts of land and um, spot lots, you know, existing lots in in already established neighborhoods that aren't on the market. That's been very, very advantageous to us, um, and has really kept us strong. In fact, we had one of our strongest lot buying months ever in the month of July, and that, nice. most of that came from an off-market system, which is not easy to put together. Hats off to my building partner who really spearheaded that. Um, but uh, but that's that's an important part of this. If you can't find the land and find it at the right price, how are we going to be able to build a property where we can make a small margin? They can also get into a cash flowing property. There's a couple of different factors there. Sure. And, and you also have to make sure that... Um, the affordability of the house is going to dictate how much people can afford in rent. Yeah. And you, you don't want to uh, pay too much for something that people aren't going to rent anyway. Exactly. Um, and most people don't realize that Florida has a lot of agricultural land. Oh yeah. There's a ton of land available. Is it suitable to build on? Not a lot of it. No. <laughs> Now, and you want to, and also there's certain areas you want to build, and there's other areas you wouldn't want to build for, sure. for a number of different reasons. So it's it's a huge growth area, uh, but you also want to have some part of uh, some desire for people to be there because you could build a house in certain areas of nowhere. I think it's going to be really hard to rent. So you yeah. want to be near areas where they're experiencing the growth and there's some desirability to bring the people there. That's really yep. important. 